Hey, it's Mac. How's it going? Welcome to my Neo Let's Play. Uh, I've uh, live streamed this game uh, a number of times on Twitch and YouTube already, and I've decided to make some Let's Play installments uh, just to keep things going. And, uh, you know, I'm switching focus on the live streams as well, so I want to keep my playthrough going on Neo. I've played this game before. Uh, back when it first came out in 2017, uh, completed it just on the the first uh, playthrough. Didn't really do too much of the new game stuff. Uh, the reason why I'm uh, doing another series in 2024 is that well, I really like the game first of all, and I wanted to actually learn the how to play the game a lot better. Learn the mechanics, pay more attention to all the options at my disposal so basically play the game more mindfully and try and complete as much of the content on my first playthrough as possible and to make as much progress on new game and perhaps even new game plus uh, before jumping into the uh, two i think it was actually three dlcs that they released for uh, neo one originally and then after i've uh played all I can of Neo, I will uh, move on to Neo 2, which I also have on PC, and I never actually got around to finishing that one. So uh, uh, lots of gaming ahead of us. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm actually quite, well, I wouldn't say I'm quite far, I'm maybe like halfway through the game, approaching the halfway point, the Kinky region. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, you can see here, this is the third region out of, I believe, six in total in the game. So I really just got started in this region. And I'm heading into the first main mission, which is Spider Nest Castle. Before I go into Spider Nest Castle, I'm going to clear out all the gear and uh, other, uh, I don't want to say junk, but perhaps it could be junk that I've, uh, acquired from the previous mission uh, in this region. I believe I actually already did my housekeeping here already, which is which will be great. That's what we want to see. Make sure I'm fully stocked on projectiles. Because I've been live streaming this game a bit and the game has been around for uh, what seven years now. I'm going to dispense with a lot of like the basic introductory stuff on, on what the game is about. I'm, I'm assuming you're somewhat familiar with what this game is. People like to call the Souls-like, although as you can see from the thumbnail of this video that, uh, you know, I prefer not to call the Souls-like. It's very different. It's its own thing, really. It really is its own thing. All right, let's let's jump into it. Really, uh, oh, yes, I am going for. I am trying to stick to wearing sets, armor sets. So the one I'm really attracted to right now, or the ones I've found the most pieces for, up to this point, is Warrior of the West, which is a medium armor set, and it's pretty good. Um, if I can just look, actually, this is the wrong view. What? How do I look at the details of, uh... oh, here we go. Yes, set bonus. So with five pieces that I'm wearing, um, looks like it's cumulative. So with wearing two pieces, I'm getting the damage reduction, 2.1%. I'm getting skill damage for tiger sprint. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, probably, possibly a, a skill, a samurai skill that I unlock. Uh, four pieces, I, I get uh, close combat damage, 10.8%. I get, uh, if I can just wait for it to scroll in again, <laughs> increase attack and, attack and defense using the uh, Riken Guardian Spirit, which I have equipped. And with five pieces, uh, my attacks have, I guess, a chance of electrifying enemies, a 29% chance. Uh, of electronic enemies with close combat attacks. And there's even an option for seven pieces, which that's nuts. I wonder if there's some accessories I can wear or that, does that include like weapons? Oh, I can see up above there. 
it tells you it tells you what what's in the set so there's still this uh nami oyogi kanemitsu i have no idea what that is i don't know what kind of melee weapon that is and then there's also a bow war of the west bow cool so there's still things to uh seek out for the set when i first played this game i didn't really pay attention to any sets i just equipped whatever made the arrows you know made the numbers go up higher which essentially is what you should be doing generally anyway on the first playthrough like builds don't really matter people keep saying so but i'm trying to be more mindful as i said and trying to pay attention to the little details in this game because there are many many details uh, involved in this game uh, so we're speaking to uh, Lee Naomasa. Naomasa. There are rumors of strange creatures attacking travelers on Shigisan. If they truly are yokai, Master Anjin's presence would be a great reassurance. Lord Tori, I will personally determine whether or not Master Anjin is worthy of our trust. What do you say, Master Anjin? Will you help? I really have no option but to help. We're not going to read all of this, but I'm just going to skim through silently. Okay, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's get started here. Shigesan Castle, Yama, Yamato Province. So I'm rocking the katana, as they call it, the sword, right? And I'm the axe. I am really enjoying the axe. I had a very poor opinion of the axe when I first played this game because it was so slow. But with the slowness comes incredible stopping power. I'm also using a bow. And let me switch back to regular arrows there. And a flintlock or a matchlock uh, rifle. Okay, let's uh, get to the shrine and uh, get our save. Our first save of the mission. So I believe we have nine Kodama to uh, discover on this uh, in this mission. Uh, Kodama are those uh, cute little green guy. That cute, that one cute green guy you see standing on top of the shrine there. And uh, what these guys do is they uh, give you blessings. You collect. I, right now I have none in this region, so. You want to collect a bunch of them, and as you collect them, they'll uh, enhance certain uh, blessings for you. I have none right now, so don't need to worry about that yet. Alright. A little bit, uh, a little bit awkward, but I'm not going to uh, use the shrine. I'm just gonna keep going. Took some unnecessary damage. Oh, it's amazing! I wasn't ambushed. When I walked in this room. I remember this mission being quite long and involved, and the uh, the boss fight though is actually not too difficult if I remember correctly. Lots of spiders. This time out, I'm really trying hard to master the uh, key pulse. Long story short, the key pulse is like an active reload for your melee attacks. 
Um, similar to, oops, similar to Dark Souls games, you have a stamina meter, they call it key, and as you do things like attack and dodge, oh dear. You uh, deplete your stamina or your key. What the key pulse does, it helps you recover used key much more quickly. And uh, mastery of the key pulse will allow you to keep attacking, essentially. Keep attacking, stay on the offensive, and prevent yourself from being uh, exhausted. And once you're exhausted in this game, you are a sitting duck, essentially. So not only can you not attack, you cannot even move. And so, not being able to move for one to two seconds usually spells death. So I'm uh, stepping, I'm walking on some uh, sticky cobwebs, so. Oh, scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Eccentric. Yes, you might be able to say that. There's probably an enemy waiting for me down here. No? Oh! What I'm really trying to get the hang of more than anything else is the, uh, they call it the flux. And this is uh, not only doing a key pulse, but when you do a key pulse, you change your stance at the same time. And that, that'll maximize the amount of uh, key you can recover. So when you get really fancy, you, you can change your stance twice to recover the most amount of key. That's what I'm trying to, to master in this playthrough. I call it the uh, Double flux or the super flux, although they call it something else. I think they just call it flux level two. That is interesting. <laughs> oh. oh, we have an archer up here. Let's line them up. camera is kind of funky there. So if we don't disturb these eggs and we don't need to mess with the uh, spiders, but... Okay, these, these spiders are very weighty. You just take one or two hits, even from a low stance, which is a... Uh... Oh! Low stance, which provides my quickest but weakest attacks found our first Kodama. See you later. All right. Hopefully in this episode, I'll be able to get to the uh, boss. Hopefully I did not have too much trouble defeating the boss. I end up putting some unreasonable pressure on myself since the very first time I played this game, I actually defeated the boss of this, of this mission on the very first try. But now that I said that, expect me to uh, screw up plenty, right? That's how it usually goes. Okay, I've been uh, been out back here. Time to yeah, have I have I gone over here yet? I haven't been back here, but there's nothing. I haven't been through here just yet. Again, there's nothing. I'm being hunted. Oh crap. Now I did. I 
I gotta change weapons. Oh! I lost my cool because I aggroed too many things at once. This time, defeating all the skeletons. Okay, this time, I just go straight, straight to the ramp. Souls back. Oh, yeah, gotta take out this archer again. For the best. Also want to aggro as many um, spiders as I can. Aggro a few. I don't want to waste too many arrows. Oh, just worry about the ones. damage you can push out at once, the less you have to worry about um, dancing with difficult enemies longer than you need to. Right? Dead. Yeah. I really should use the axe for the entire mission. <laughs> it's so strong. It's really strong. I didn't even pay attention to what the, uh, the cat man was saying. <laughs> you know? Yep, yep. Whatever. I hear ya. <laughs> I thought there was a way for me to uh, cross up onto the roof there. Guess not. Broken ladder. I guess at some point it was to go the other way and kick the ladder in out as a shortcut. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, which which way was supposed to go? I was supposed to go this way. And there's a. Blast this guy with the proper. Uh... Anything here? Oh. Uh, 
Oh, I was just about to say, it's time for a shrine. Indeed, it is. Ask and ye shall receive. Can't level up yet. I think this door's locked, yeah. Usually is. It's a, it's a shortcut door. I do apologize if you are arachnophobic. This is not the best uh, introduction to Neo. <laughs> Something to keep in mind. Um, they do take into account the height, the size of your enemies in this game. You know, that's why I tried to slice the spider with this stance. It's a horizontal slice. Uh, so it goes over them. So you're gonna miss some of the hits. Like, the, some of the slices there, that one's angled. And the final slice is more vertical, so those will hit. But uh, you, wanna, you wanna catch them first hit, which is why I like this, this low stance, the strong attack. It starts off with that sweeping. All the, all the slices are vertical, so it's nice. I killed the uh, spider right off the bat there. More spiders. <laughs> big surprise, big surprise. There's a bit of a trap here. Oh! Oh, so close, so close. Yeah, yeah, there's a boulder. There's a big boulder and a big angry monk, yokai monk, which we're going to uh, tell him to, oh. We're going to get rid of him and then we're going to tell him to come play with us. These guys so much. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, they're um, different. Different attack patterns is kind of hard for me to read which one he's gonna pick. And then if you get hit by. If you get hit by him, you get stunned quite badly. Okay. Making progress though, making progress. Hey. Come, come fight me here. Oh. This uh, this mission is really structured like a oh, like a fortress base. A lot of sniper perches, guard towers, places you know for archers to hide. They want you to fall down there by accident and uh, wake up all the spider eggs. Actually, this is a oh yeah, this is a new this is a new area, isn't it? So I've kind of uh, I should have explored up top first before dropping down. Anyway, 
We're actually going to drop down this way so we don't disturb all the eggs inside. I hear uh, a Kodama nearby. Oh, hello. Oh, it's on the roof. Yeah, you die now. Damn. How to get back on top of the roof? Should pay more attention. Get lucky. Ah, shoot. I'm going to go back up. has been open over there. Oh. Oh hey, I think it's a shortcut. <clears throat> Before I touch the shrine, I don't want to respawn all the enemies. I'm gonna run back up. That's probably the fastest shortcut unlocked ever. Usually, they make you uh, do a bit of trek before uh, discovering where the shortcut is. Alright, there's a little guy. There you go. See you back at home. Okay. So the shortcut was back here, right? Okay. We can try and tackle, um... Tackle the uh, elite enemy that's blocking the door. Did I just waste an arrow? Okay. <laughs> Sucks. Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh, this guy sucks. Giant spiders shouldn't be that difficult. I believe it's just a matter of dodging to the side to avoid uh, pretty much all its attacks. Actually, that's not correct. There's some attacks that um, are sweeping. So if you try to dodge the side, you'll get clipped. No, 
Oh boy. More elite enemies. Damn. Alright. Use a lot of healing. Just get this door open first. Okay, this is a whole a whole section on its own, I remember. Going through here. Yeah, we'll do um we'll do this area first, try to take out this elite enemy here. Give myself a fighting chance. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Helps to have a flame imbued axe working for me, right? Actually, another section. Oh, this is a big map, man. A really big map. Yeah, I'm actually kind of skeptical of being able to get to the boss fight by the end of this recording session just because this level is so expansive I just keep spamming I'm sure to hit the spider such a small space oh I heard a Kodama <gasps> yes yeah they give away a telltale like that that sound. Bloop, bloop. Okay. Uh, I think there are a lot of well, <laughs> there are a lot of spiders in this entire mission, but I think there are extra down this way. For all you uh, spider fans, uh, there we go. We have a. Uh, Ones that try to jump on your head. We don't like the we don't like the ceiling spiders. No, we do not. Drop spiders, we'll call them. There's another one. They're like buddies. Oh! Dodgy. Dodgy spiders. I do not like that. Locks. <laughs> everyone's everyone's truly dead. Okay, good. How do I get there? Regular chest. That's good. Trial amulet. A poison charm. Medicine case. Okay, I'll check that out later. I don't like to look through my loot. 
doing a mission. I'd probably just do it once I'm back on the uh, overworld map. Post mission screen, what do you want to call it? So is that it? And that's it. Uh, how do I get up there? Anyway. It's time to head back up to the surface. <clears throat> is from 2017 so it's starting to show its age but it's still a very nice looking game not even considered much of a looker back when it first came out that was not its big selling point but it's a very it can be a very pretty game there's a locked door over there so it's time to head into the estate I don't think there's a shrine this way, so we have to be careful. My path has been to uh, okay. weak spider. Bust down these screens to get a better view. Yeah, my usual route is to kind of go along the right side and work my way around. I believe that's the better way to do it. Actually, there isn't really a right or wrong way. Oh, we have uh, an elite enemy here. Go through these side rooms first. Can I bust through these walls? all my There's an item. There is a, um, a secret passage in this area, if I do recall correctly. Actually, it's possible to fall down a pit right around here. But before we do that, I'm going to open this door just so I get a shortcut in case I die in to come back. Alright, now I'm ready to fall down the pit. No enemies here? Really? So it's a bit of a downer to get purple item that you don't have any use for. I don't I don't use spears. Spears are good weapons though. They're they're really good beginner weapons. The katana, the single sword, the spear, both really good starter weapons for learning the game. Okay, so I go I uh I don't remember yeah, I guess you can just drop down there yourself. Okay, should I just take a leap? Oh my goodness. I've actually... I don't think I've actually come down here before. <laughs> I 
Are there any other enemies down there? Oh yeah, there are. Have a kunai and another one. Another one. Did use all my kunai. I had screwed up my stances, so uh, the correct move didn't come out. It's fine. Ah, oh, it's a little sticky. When you're the sticky webbing, you can't move quickly. Here. Dead. You <laughs> see the power difference between the axe and the sword. Yeah, again, the reason why I'm not using the axe constantly because it's just the slowness. The um, the katana is a much better, well-rounded weapon. Holy crap! I really do not remember this area. This area is horrible. Look at all the spiders. We have a demon over there as well. Oh my goodness. I really do not remember coming down here ever. It's kind of exciting. Oh, look at that. Drop spider. Hello. You're dead. Oh okay, yeah, let's just stick with the axe for a bit. <laughs> It's so strong. Let's see if we can bully all the spiders with the axe. Oh. He's coming our way. I'm tempted to shoot him and, s and make him collapse. But then I might wake up the... Uh... Come on. Ah! Oh, I thought he'd turn his head. If, I, if he turned to face me and I shot him, then I could crumple him. Hiding in the corners. There's a there's a boss spider right there, so I gotta be careful. Oh, Kodama! Do I have time to pick him up? Wake up! Oh, I do have time. Okay. Yeah, I'll stand over here. That was, yeah, I did, I didn't mean to wake up the uh, boss spider, so I was very fortunate to uh, survive. I wasn't quite prepared. Whew, that worked out, that worked out. Hello. You die now. <laughs> yeah. You're dead. You're dead. One one shot the axe, little guy. Let's 
game over for you. Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Oh, I was, I was just, I was thinking in my head, oh, I better not get cocky. And as soon as I finished that thought, the spider landed on me. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. Let's. So, for example, me bullying an enemy with uh, decent key pulsing but wasn't the greatest, but I, I key pulsed. Uh, okay, so I believe I got my bearings here. So yeah, I guess I have to go. There's no other way. Yeah, this way you're gonna go. In there. You have to go through here. Okay, I, I, I opened up the shortcut. Fortunately, oh yeah, it's not it's not a bad walk of shame at all. Not not bad at all. But the spider is back. This guy. Oh, landed right on top of them. I'm out of bullets. Oh my. Really gotta move carefully. Tread very, very, very carefully here. My uh, souls depend on it. No, we don't want to fight a revenant. That's the son of a gun who did me in. Just uh, be careful. Just want to make sure. Check the ceilings. Right. It's pretty much the best move uh, out of the entire axe move set. <laughs> Let me see. I think there's a combo attack I can do. Yeah, there's a hook move. Yeah, there's a there's a hail mary move in high stance. I've never actually tried using it. Maybe I should try it one of these days. Yeah, it's only in high stance. Okay. 
But yeah, like the standard uh, double attack here on high stance, it's so good. I just check, check the ceilings. Oh yeah, we got another one here. Didn't even get the chance to attack. So here we are, this, this is where we saw the body from the other side. Nice. Where are you taking me? Another spider. God damn. Who's a kunai in this guy? <laughs> Mess it up there a bit. Necessary damage. I don't understand why they show you a chest that's already been opened. I never understood this in Neil. What does this mean? <laughs> the chest has already been opened. This is my first time in this area. It's a single player game. You know. What does it mean? I think this... I think we're done with this... This section of the cave. It's time to head up. Check for spiders. Tread very carefully. Okay, I think we're clear. Oh, salvation. I don't know where, which way to go. It's been a while since I played this game. So I... My sense of direction, especially in a large map like this, sense of direction is not great. Oh, okay. I know where I am. I know where I am now. I wonder if I should go back the other way anyway, just so I can find a shrine? Or is there like a shortcut somewhere? Oh shoot. Here I come. Ooh. He armored through my uh, last swing there, but I, I killed him at least. Oh shoot. 
What does that usually mean? The swirling mist. There's some swirling mist around this uh, grave. And then it disappeared. I don't know what the significance is. If anyone knows, uh, please, please comment. I'm totally up for learning as much as I can about this game. Given that I'm experiencing it again for the first time, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We both missed. <laughs> There is a. Uh... Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. There's the ladder. I kicked down. Yeah, another shortcut. I love it. So I do want to use a shrine. If at all possible. I don't think I don't think I can find my way back to a shrine actually. I think the the trek is too far. And I'm 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 in terms of supplies I'm good. I'm good. I can keep moving. Press upwards. Oh, oh, yeah, we got a, we got the guitar player, I don't know how does he say, I don't know the proper name of the instrument, but a guitar player who summons um, revenants. Those guys are pain in the ass. Go both of them. There he is. Yeah, hit him with the good shit. Yeah, get rid of him, and then you don't have to worry about him summoning any more revenants. He's a real pain in the ass. Dama. It's really fun finding these guys. I'm so paranoid about spiders on the ceiling. You can probably understand why, seeing as I was one shot by a drop spider. Okay, where else can I? Oh! <laughs> there it is. Um, can I just shoot it to lure it down, or what's the deal here? Yeah, here we go. Oh, I really made sure there's no opportunity for him to survive.
I went in on him. But, yeah, that's it, really. I didn't really have to use the uh, fire talisman. It's just overkill at this point. Is that it? Okay, I guess we go back now. So this is just like a optional section of the map, it seems. Doesn't really lead anywhere. You end up just backtracking. Backtracking to the critical path. Cause I went I went down there already and it's a dead end. Alright, okay, there's the shrine. Here. Yeah, we're back at the estate, and then we can just continue on our merry way. Let's go left. Hit you with my double swing, please. <laughs> stop, stop dodging. We got an elite enemy over there. Who's it gonna be? This is another power pellet. Noisy car engine outside. Oh, I see a Kodama. Are we going to be ambushed here or what? Once in a while you find these chests that have a, a mimic hiding inside. A mimic basically is a type of demon and they will make a gesture towards you and then you have to match the gesture they made. And if you don't match it, they'll get angry and then you have to fight a revenant. And you know that a mimic's gonna be hiding in a chest because the, uh, the bands, you can see the gold bands, the trim, the corners of the uh, chest there there's two right you can see at each corner there's two bands um if there's a mimic hiding at chest you'll see three bands instead of two that's how you know okay let's um can't bust with the wall here so i'll just like take the ramp very conveniently placed ramp Explore the rest of the rooms. Actually, no. I've been here. There's some money. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy.
think I want to face off against whoever is the elite enemy over there, but uh, let me just clear out these side rooms first. Really uh, annoying not having lock on. You can't lock onto the eggs. All right, here we go. Face off against the ba big bad boy. It's a ninja. And he's dead. <laughs> Uh, another thing that's very abusable is the Guardian Spirit Talisman, which I open up the fight with. It's awesome. It's an awesome item. Ah, I got the key to the castle gates. Wonderful. <gasps> Ooh! It's the healing pool. I never really, um... I mean, I like finding these pools, but uh, their usefulness is uh, pretty limited because what happens is you use it and it's a one-time use. And after you respawn, th this doesn't uh, replenish. And uh, you use it and you have to usually run to a spot where you can actually get the benefit from it. Like right now I've cleared out all the enemies in, in the estate. So there's no real purpose for me to bathe in the pool. I'm just gonna do it now for the sake of completeness. But uh, yeah, I mean it's it's a mixed bag finding these pools. You get you get the um, regenerating health for a short period of time, which is nice. But then, like I said, I'm not in an area now. It's like if it was right outside a boss room, then that'd be different, right? But it's not. Make a big old mess. Uh, I think that's it. So the castle gate, I believe, is right over here. Hmm. There we are. This must be it. Nope. I was wrong. It's not this is not a very castle gate ish area at all. Where the hell is the castle gate? Our mission is to find the castle gate. Good thing to do sometimes is to just go back to a shrine, get my bearings, it's okay. That's here. Oh, everyone's respawned. That sucks. I'll just kill everyone all over again then. Oh, two for one. Gotta love it. Got to love it. He was not expecting me to attack. Good. Get the hell out of here. You cannot 
escape the acts of destiny. Okay. Unfortunately, we gotta deal with this, uh... Monk. Slowed me down. Uh, yeah, I, that's moving like that's moving like I was in mud or something. Find the castle gates. Find the castle gates. Back down there. Oh, hello. What a happy accident. There, a demon here. <laughs> oh, it's the damn spider! Oh, it's so annoying. Let the power through that part. Oh, yeah, I was uh, webbed. It's moving so damn slow. Somehow I didn't see this path before. This must be the gate. Yes. Excellent. And now we found a shrine. I was uh, getting worried for a second. I was thinking to myself, am I really going to get lost? And level up twice. Ooh. What to level up? Heart will give me boost to my uh, katana. Go strength, I keep boosting. I should not gonna, I should just boost my axe damage. Gives me a key pulse, give me a samurai skill point. I might do strength this. Give one to strength. Let's do one to strength. Do one to strength and then do one to uh, heart. How's that? So end up with two, uh, six samurai skill points. It's a decent spread of good stuff. Yeah, let's let's do that. And that's gonna call the wrap for uh, this episode. Join me for part two as I uh, get through the second half of this mission and uh, face off against uh, Juo Gumo, I believe is the name of the, uh, the boss of this level. 
So thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps the channel grow. And um, I do look forward to uh, seeing you all again at the next video. So take care and goodbye.